ticks, the creepy pests that carry Lyme disease. And due to the mild winter, they're apparently everywhere much earlier than they should be. Jim Morelli is live in Milton, where the nation's leading tick expert tells you, Jim, that acorns are playing a big role in this tick boom. Yeah, Carrie, here's what happened. Last fall, there was a bumper crop of acorns in northeastern forests, and there were two main beneficiaries. First of all, the mice, and by extension, as it turns out, the ticks. We normally wouldn't start until mid-April. Normally, winter would be the off-season for tick control expert Stephen Novick, but not this year. To have things coming six, eight weeks earlier than that is definitely out of the ordinary. Novick attributes the early emergence of ticks to the relatively warm winter. Ticks don't die in the cold months, they just become inactive. But when the temperature climbs... They are up and still looking for a host, hoping that something will walk by that they can latch on to. Dr. Thomas Mather, otherwise known as the tick guy, is a leading expert on the creatures we love to hate. This afternoon, in a three-minute span, Mather caught all these ticks in a park near his office at the University of Rhode Island. And rest assured, there were many more he didn't catch. They're all loaded with germs, um, germs that cause Lyme disease and babesiosis and anaplasmosis. In fact, Mather says an astounding 85% of these adult ticks carry Lyme disease. The good news, the adults will die off in late spring. The bad news, then come the babies. You thought these ticks were hard to see. Um, try finding a poppy seed sized speck. The open question this year is whether there could be an explosion in the tick population. The setup is there. Mild winters and plenty of food last fall meant an increase in the rodent population, and that means more potential food sources for those baby ticks. And it could be that um, almost the perfect storm of a lot of immature ticks and a lot of rodents, that would then spell a huge problem. Now, this explosion in the tick population is not a given. It's going to depend on the weather, says Dr. Mather. For example, if we have a dry spring and a dry summer, well, that would negatively affect the tick population. But if it's wet and if it's humid, that could cause that tick explosion. Live in Milton, Jim Morelli reported.